Hey bye Bev and welcome back to my channel. So finally spring is here. It's getting warmer. Nice weather outside and more brighter days. The flowers are blooming everywhere now and grasses are getting more greener and all of this gives colors and lively surroundings and also it gives hope to me. So I really love spring season. So this is spring, I will make an episode of crochet flower spring. I will uh, uh, randomly make a flower crochet. Hope you will also enjoy making it. So let's start. So for today's flower is I will make the classic flower pop stitch. So for our flower puff stitch, where we will be needing our yarn, yarn needle, and our pair of scissors. And I will be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. Okay, so let's start. And I begin with a slip knot. So we're going to make a slip knot. Insert our hook in that slip knot. Okay, first we're going to chain four. And into the first stitch we're going to slip stitch our work so just yarn over and do a slip stitch so we will be working at the center of this so here Okay, so first we're going to chain one. So this is not count as our first stitch, but it's just a imaginary chain. Okay, and then in this little hole, center hole there, we're going to put six single crochet. Okay, so here. Single crochet, this one, two, three, four, five, one more. Okay, so you, you can uh, pull this to tighten a bit the hole. And in the first single crochet that we did, we're going to slip stitch. So just count one, two, three, four, five, six. So this stitch here, not the chain one, but the first single crochet okay so we're going to slip stitch okay so next round we're going to make now the petals this in our puff flower we're going to make six petals So it depends how many petals you're gonna make. Depends how many single crochets you're going to make in the first round. Thus, we're we made the six single crochets, so we're going to make six petals. Okay. So now we're going to chain two. In 
the first stitch, which is this, that we're going to slip stitch before, we're gonna make uh, the puff stitch. So just yarn over, insert our hook in there, grab our yarn, and we need to pull a bit like this. Okay? Just hold with your finger this and to make six of this so yarn over insert into the same hook same chain and then pull the loops so now we have two right three So just uh, pull while you're working. So this is to identify how big is your puff petals. Okay. So now we're going to yarn over all those tubes together. So this is our first petal. Now we're going to chain one to secure. Okay. So just make a pop like this and then we're going to chain two and into the next stitch this is this we're going to slip stitch our work here Now we're going to chain two again and repeat six for the six of to make the pop stitch. It's the same method. So yarn over, insert our hook in there, grab our yarn and pull this. So just pull a bit so that it is easy to, to determine our the long loop of the puff one. Two, three, four, five, and six. It's getting smaller, right? Okay, so now we're going to yarn over all those loops our second petals now we're going to chain one to secure all the loops then chain two then slip stitch again into the next stitch pull it tight a bit to puff our petal and then chain two again so it's the same method okay so yarn over just hold this so that it will do and yarn there just hold like that yarn over first hold two three four five six just a little bit then yarn over the loops chain one to secure chain two to continue Then slip stitch to the next. Again, tie a bit. Pop 
power petal and continue again chain two and do your last three top okay Okay, so we're done with our six petals. Now we're going to, we just chain two there, we're going to slip stitch into the last chain. Now we're done with our petals. And you can uh, close a bit the hole with this grabbed it okay it's like that now we're going to fasten up because we are done already so for me i'm going to chain one and cut my yarn and we're done it's easy right So this is now your pop flower. Here I have a uh, seven pop flower, and I will gonna make a hexagon, a small hexagon like this, and I will uh, sew them together to make them. Say ready. So we'll continue. I will show you how to. So first, we're going to cut those ends. So for me, I really like to tie them together. This since they are married, so I'm gonna tie them here. It's up to you how many pop flower we're going to make. If you want a bigger hexagon, you can add. So for me, I made seven. So I'm gonna show you how to stitch them together. So you tie it up. So just grab your yarn needle and. gonna sew the edges okay like this so just uh, sew those uh, stitches there not under the flower here let's but the stitches the chains below them okay so we got some of these. I'm going to put like this, so like that. Okay, so like that. So we're going to sew this together. Okay, so like that.
Okay guys, so this is now our pearl flower. This is our first flower spring flower episode. So if you want to make it bigger, just add more and make more other pearl flowers and join them together. So thank you so much for joining me today and see you again tomorrow for another kind of flower for our spring flower episodes. Thank you so much and subscribe to my channel and happy crochet. Bye-bye.